In today's video, I'll be revealing my AI writing and SEO tool stack. So essentially, these are the best tools that I use to write, optimize and rank AI content on Google and help grow my online blogs and websites. So the first tool is going to be the tool that I use for writing. And I currently really, really like Claude. Claude is using Sonnet 3.5, and I think it's one of the best models in terms of AI writing. Claude is my favorite model, while my second favorite model is from OpenAI. GPT-4. Oh, so those are my two models in which I use to write content. I have a lot of uh, tutorials on this channel already where I show you guys how to write content using any of those models. So if you want to check those out, those videos will be in the description below today's video, or you can just search it up on my channel. So that's the model in which I use to write. Now, the tool in which I use to optimize my content is Nuan Writer. I like Nuan Writer because I got it on a lifetime deal. If there still is a lifetime deal, again, I will link that below. But Neuron Writer is really good because essentially what you do is you enter your keyword in which you're trying to rank for, and then you will be able to get um, ranking factors that you can follow um, in order to follow the best practices to optimize your content to increase the likeness of ranking on the first page of Google. I also still am running my giveaway. Last week, we announced the winner. Each week, I will be choosing a random person who comments in any one of our videos. And if you are chosen, then you will get free access to my AI Writing Mastery course. So if you'd like to join the giveaway, just simply leave a comment below. My second favorite content writing optimization tool is WriterZen. So WriterZen is pretty good as well, but I don't think there's a lifetime deal. But the reason why I like WriterZen is because it also has keyword research and topic discovery included in WriterZen. So you can also do some optimizations and find some keywords uh, for your articles and for your website. In terms of keyword research, I do use Ahrefs. Um, I think it is the best tool in the market because they also have the most accurate and the most up-to-date um, data when it comes to keyword research and competitor research. It is a little bit more expensive, but they actually just added in a new plan. It's only $29 per month. It's a starter plan. You have about 100 credits per month. So you just have to be a little bit careful when you're using it because you can run out of those 100 credits very quickly. But if you have one or two websites, then the $29 per month plan could actually be very beneficial for you. And it's not that expensive uh, compared to some of their other plans. So for keyword research and just tracking of your keywords, I recommend using Ahrefs. Some free tools in which you can use is Google Search Console. So Google Search Console, this will give you information about your website. You can index your pages on Google Search Console and you can track your keywords. You can also add Google Analytics onto your website. Again, that is another really, really good resource that will give you the most accurate and most updated information about your website. And they are both completely free to use. So you don't have to pay for Google Analytics and you do not have to pay for Google Search Console. And if you wanted to, you can actually add your website onto Ahrefs for completely free. And this is where you'll be able to track your keywords uh, for free. And this doesn't count as a credit. So you can track your keywords. You can see how much you change or how much you uh, increase or decrease for completely free. So these are some of the tools in which I use for research and for tracking my ranking. Some other tools that I like to use is Harpa. Harpa AI is a Chrome extension. And essentially, it follows you everywhere on the web. Once you have Harpa downloaded, you can use Control A. And then Harper will pop up onto any website in which you're at, and you can do a bunch of different things. You can copy information from that page. You can chat with the information on that page if you want to get more information. You can copy the information on whatever page you're on. But essentially, you have a suite of different AI tools that follows you on any website in which you're at, and you can use that tool for a variety of different things. I also really like Perplexity AI. Perplexity AI, you can think of it as an AI-powered Google search. So we can search things up like you can search terms up on perplexity. And the main difference is, is you don't have websites like how you would have on Google. You have answers directly from uh, perplexity. You also have images, you have videos, and you can ask more information based upon the information in which you're getting back. So you can ask a follow up question and we can do much more deep, uh, in-depth research using perplexity AI. And it's a really, really easy and quick way to get AI powered results compared to using um, Google. So as you can see, there's some related topics here. And once we click on that, we'll get more information about that specific topic. So it's very, very good for doing research and getting information quickly. And then you can use that information. Let's say you wanted to write an article, you can use that information to write your own unique article. In terms of AI images, I've recently started using Midjourney and I really, really like it. As you can see, these are some examples of images in which you can get back from Midjourney. And they're really photorealistic and very, very good to use. If you like to include images into your blogs, this is a really good tool to use. I find the upload quality to be really, really good. And I just find that the images are much better uh, than Dolly 3 and you can create some really, really 
um, fun, engaging, and very visually appealing images for your blog posts. So MidJourney, you do have to use it on Discord. I can do a full tutorial on that if you'd like me to do so, but it's very easy to use once you have a plan, then you just uh, enter your prompt onto Discord and you can generate an image. So those are some of my favorite AI and SEO tools. And these are the tools that I use mostly on a daily basis in order to write, research, and rank my content on Google. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this quick video. I will leave a link for all of the tools mentioned in the description below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.